Welcome to the Hopcast. Thanks for joining us once again. Um, we are on location today. Right. Um, first off, I'm Brad Zulisky. My name is Ken Hunnameter, and uh, we have a special guest. This is uh, Kyle McHugh. The beer hound. <laughs> the booze hound. Booze hound, yeah. Booze hound, beer hound, wine hound, <laughs> grain alcohol hound. <laughs> and uh, he's the proprietor over here at Drinks Over Dearborn. Uh, Nice little uh, boutique of all sorts of drinkables here on, we're at 650 North Dearborn here in Chicago. Uh, they have plenty of great wines, spirits, and beer. And we kind of wanted to, we'll, we'll focus more on the on the beer aspect, That's but they really, <laughs> they really have uh, anything that, that you would ever need here, uh, even down to glassware and, and, and the whole nine, so. Mixers and yeah. Yeah, so great place to, to stop by. Um, what what kind of stuff are we looking at here? Because I'm looking and seeing a lot of different really great beers, and uh, I don't really see too many bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the goal was yeah to be good as as much as possible. Um, so well, when I started the place, my thought was number one, um, if you're going to be a, a small shop in Chicago, um, that you know there's Benny's and there's Sam's and the big boxes. I don't have the money, nor am I going to tilt at the windmill that is that uh, that the dragon. So um, uh, I'll do something small and a little more intimate. And the other curse for me was none of the small stores, and there's some great small wine stores in Chicago, but none of them are doing beer seriously. They're doing beer, um, you know, with a cooler kind of half stocked in the back, a couple of good things, um, and, and beer is delicious, as we all know. Uh, you guys are fans. <laughs> Um, so, um, so for me, it was let's let's give beer equal weight to to wine in the room. Get wine people thinking about how great beer is. Beer people already know how great beer is, so they'll come and maybe they'll be into wine too, or maybe they'll be into spirits, and it'll be you know a one stop shop for for everybody. Um, so I didn't take an approach other than I want good beer all over the world, all major styles represented, yeah. um, all major regions represented when possible. Um, I want some recognizable and especially local. Um, I want to support the local guys as right, much as we can. Yeah, Three Floyds and Goose Island and Metropolitan. Two brothers. Everybody's kind of like, you know, showing their faces here, and and everything is is very visible. Yes, which is which is nice. As you can see behind us here, it's it's all kind of neatly stocked in these cubbies. It's very easy to see. You know what you're looking at. It's great. Um, we also sell loose by the bottle, um, mm -hmm. which is something you don't find most places. Um, and uh, that allows, of course, to mix and match and try some new things without making that four-pack commitment. Wonderful. That can be 20, 30 bucks yeah. in the world of Belgian beers these days, or even great craft domestic. So, um, so that gives us some advantages too. And we're so small that you know when stuff comes in, we can get a case or two. Um, we've got the last batch of Juliet just came in today from Goose Island. One of only five stores to get any. Yeah. So. If you're looking for Juliet, which I know a lot of you are, come on over to 650 North Dearborn, and uh, yeah, just and you're gonna have to. There's a little room in the back, so don't miss it because I almost did. And there's there's some nice little treats in there. Are you keeping the little tear up stuff back there? We got yeah the some of the things that price point a little bit higher. The Scaldus Prestige uh, coming in just under fifty dollars. Um, some of the great Italian craft beers, um, brewers who learned the craft in the States and in Belgium and are now back in Italy doing something a little more interesting than the Peronis and the Moretti's that yeah. kind of grew up with. Um, got some of that back there and you know, we just went through the last Half Acre Bone. Um, so things like that, special releases, Juliet, hard to find, um, collector type beers, um, beers that can age with some life. That's kind of what we keep back in the back. Yeah, so certainly check out the back. Just to even, you know, see what's going on back there. <laughs> At least it might uh, tempt you. I think I've already been tempted by a couple <laughs> things I might walk out here with. So, <laughs> and you also do um, a lot of like events and, and teaching classes and, and and all that sort of hands-on type of things. Um, for me, um, education. Uh, I love teaching about drinks. I mean, what better kind of teaching can you do? Sorry, CPS. I'm sure you're, that's one. Of <laughs> they would yell at me if I brought drinks. Uh, so. Um, so for me, you know, getting being lucky enough to travel a lot, um, especially when I was younger, uh, got to see all these awesome customs of what around and the drinking in these different countries, and you know, beer vending machines in Japan blew my mind, yeah. and all these local beers that meant so much to the communities that they grew up in, and now in the states we've seen that too, um, and uh, us getting back to that local mindset versus the kind of mega national, which are no longer even U.S. companies um, mm -hmm. mindset. Right. So. Uh, yeah, for us, um, you know, important that we embrace the local guys and and um, just be able to do 
things along that nature. Now, like, as far as market goes, and, you know, we're not in the great greatest of economic times right now, and you hear that, like, alcohol is one of the things that's, that stays up towards the top. Are you noticing that it's more of the, the lower end, you know, wines or, you know, beers and spirits? And like, buying it. yeah, and the, the, you know, the higher end, maybe a little bit better quality things are, are suffering just a little bit. Um, it's funny. It's not that it's the, the uber high end. Um, it's this middle ground. Okay. Um, for, uh, you know, in the wine world, like 30 to 50 is a real gray zone for us, a real dead zone, actually. People definitely are buying the value. And then they're also buying the super nice. You know, if you're in that tax bracket, I think you... You're buying gifts and you're buying, mm -hmm. you know, special mementos. And we definitely see that in the beer world too. Um, there are certain beers for us that just don't seem to work. Either it's a name that people think is maybe too common for it to be here. Okay. Um, even if it's, say, one of the random Sam Adams varietals that are harder okay. to find and that are wonderful beers, that might be. Uh, just not enough for people. Um, too cool for school? A little bit, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Um, and, and too obscure for the the more novice beer drinker yeah. to come in and pick up. Um, and uh, But definitely as you start looking into things like, you know, chili mead and, um, you know, the, the light, beautiful peach-infused uh, beer we have from Italy, uh, and, and some of those items, you definitely see that, I think, slow. And you definitely see, like, for us, six-pack, four-pack, very little purchases of that. Most everybody is buying a sample and they're buying maybe two three beers at a time shopping very European style okay and then once they know that they've seen something they like they'll maybe come back and buy a little bit more in volume so there are you do some six packs and stuff like that but, sure uh, oh, we'll do hey well yeah I guess hats, hats, yeah. you know <laughs> <laughs> want to cool it in your hand? I mean, uh, <laughs> however you want it, you're gonna serve it up. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, we'll do what you need. Um, we don't have, you know, we as you guys can see, we don't have stacks of, of cases of boxes everywhere. Uh, don't have a lot of money for inventory to be tied up like that, and we want it warmer and a little bit more intimate. Um, but special order wise, with a day or two notice, we can get, of course, just about anything. And um, and we always have, you know, uh, some things we have more than a case of because they're kind of stalwarts. Um, uh, a lot of the local beers, the, the Half Acre Lagers, we sell quite a bit of the, the Goose Island Three Floyds, uh, Goose Island, the Three Floyds. Um, some of the Goose Islands we tend to keep a little bit more in stock, um, and uh, and we see the volume go out for parties and stuff. But we do a lot of special order stuff too. Not only like, hey, I want some of this. Can you get it to me? Well, if you split a case, we'll order it for you. Mm -hmm. um, or hey, my company's having a party. I need two cases of that, case of that. And we'll even, you know, we'll buy the, the big national beers too, you know. Beggars yeah. can't be choosers, <laughs> right? If that's what your audience wants, if that's what your guests want, sure. of course, you can't order it from here. You might get a better price at other places, and we'll tell you that up front on Miller Lite, because I'm not buying pallets a uh, day <laughs> um, to keep uh, keep them in business. But, um, but uh, no, we're uh, equal opportunity sellers, uh, whenever possible. Fair enough. Very nice. And so you guys have been here for a year now, right? Yeah, just last week was our year anniversary. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. In this economy, yeah, we'll take uh, we'll take some kudos on that. It's not bad. Uh, great customers, actually, is what kept us here. Good. Um, and, uh, you know, again, if um, we see so many people, it's surprising on the beer side, who find us on uh, Beer Advocate. And, um, you know, I think that, that the Allstroms have done such a great job of, of building integrity into what they do. And people use Beerfly, like I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. I use it where, wherever I go. <laughs> And our grade is, you know, we were A plus. We just went to an A, thanks to one last A. It wasn't an A plus, <laughs> but we're still, you know, I'm just we'll have to go home and review and we, you know, podcast and bring it back up. A plus. <laughs> but uh, another thing to notice, just so you know, if you're if you're looking for it, uh, could be a little bit tricky to find because this is not a storefront. It's actually where uh, it's called Drinks Over Dearborn for a reason. We are on the second floor, so um, keep in mind it is 650 North Dearborn. You might have to look out for a little bit. Just uh, come on in and, and ring the bell, and they'll buzz you on up. So that's that's important as well. Yeah, it, it is. Um, we we lose a lot of people, or people will call. I'm looking at you on my Google, and I'm in the right spot. Um, but uh, you know what's nice about it? Um, and I went to business school. I know better than second floor retail. What I'm, you know. Um, <laughs> but when I walked in the space, I just saw you know we had these big beautiful windows that look out over the streets. And when you're up here, you're just separated from kind of the hustle and bustle. Yeah. Um, it really is a nice separation from just the 
busy life. And when we're up here behind a locked door that we have to buzz people up in, we don't have to worry about people who aren't serious. Um, we don't have to worry about uh, homeless people coming in or people trying to steal stuff. Um, it's a really cordial, warm environment. Um, it just seems a little put offish until you get up here, right? Right. But once you get up, you know, most people are great. I can't keep business cards because everybody wants to hand cards out to their friends. I mean, you can't get better word of mouth. Good problem to have. Yes, yeah, <laughs> the best. The yeah, best. I, would, I would think it's certainly a word of mouth business, and, and I, I can certainly see how Beer Advocate has helped. But it's like, it's a great space. I mean, it's a beautiful store. It's, it's well kept and neat and clean. And uh, there's there's not much in your way, like you said. You don't have uh, you know cases of beer all over the place you're tripping at. It's just uh, it's very well put together and, and, and uh, inviting. So thanks, thank you. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> we do what we can. So if you're not coming up to buy beer and buy wine, you have classes too that you teach. What what are the classes entail usually? Um, we do classes on, on all the different topics, uh, of course, the stuff that we carry here. Um, beer centrically, um, we've got, for instance, a class on the Trappist beers, and what that means, because a lot of us, you know, we don't know Trappist is good, <laughs> yes. um, but we don't necessarily know what the story is or the fact that, you know, now um, Koenigshoven uh, used to be La Trap, is now La Trap other places, it's now Koenigshoven, and what's Splutterin <laughs> is impossible to get still, sorry, you can't special order a Splutterin. <laughs> People try to do that all the time. We <laughs> get two cases. Yeah, if you fly to Belgium, um, I'm just gonna try to one first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. start two cases. Yeah, well, yeah, get it out there. Um, ask for the moon. Um, so we do, you know, a traps class. We'll do kind of a beer basics class. Again, we, we want to cater not only to the, the serious aficionado, um, but we want to help make aficionados out of people who don't know how good beer is yet. So we try to cater to both sides. The other thing too is you you see. The beer classes you see are often catered at the beginner. So we love to do more advanced things as well and get into things like, you know, sour beers being so popular now, um, stouts and porters and, and barrel aged beers being kind of a real subset of that that's really popular. So we try to get into those categories too, again, to, to reflect um, well for everybody. And now we're working with, uh, hoping to get the map room guys in, um, wonderful uh, people, obviously good friends. They send a lot of their overflow from beer class business to us, which cool. is, you know, it's nice to you can get. Thank you very much, guys. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, but uh, uh, on the on the same token, um, you know, like like I said, you know, there that kind of customer is looking for a lot of different experiences. So we're trying to bring customers in, and they're talking about doing a uh, how to make beer, like how to homebrew class. Great. So, yeah. um, and I've done some, but I'm not ready to teach that. So it's mm -hmm. fun to be able to do that. Um, we hosted um, the only certified uh, the beer judge certification program class that was taught in the city. Um, we hosted that in the last session. Cool. So we love to do good things with beers. Um, and then outside of here, we do things too, um, via the Booze Hound um, logo. Uh, for instance, we're going out to Hop Leaf for another wonderful beer spot here in the city. Um, and twice a year we do an open bar at Hopley, which is a great place to do an open bar at. <laughs> <laughs> Probably can't go too wrong with the choice of, of, up there, so. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> so we take over the top floor, you know, they have like 60 bottles that they serve up there, all different size formats. We do a couple of drafts, uh, great food layout. Um, Mike Roper, the owner, usually comes up and tells some stories, and his beer stories are some of the best that you're going to find. And um, you know it's funny. Everybody walks up, and it's kind of like the dog park. At first, everybody sits down, and they have their one little 11 ounce, 11.2 ounce bottle or 3:30. And by the end of the two hours, everybody's got 750s. <laughs> Let me try some of that oak age. Let me try some of that sour. You're my best friends. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, great. <laughs> so you're doing that twice, twice a year, and one of them's coming up. So, so you know, keeping. Keep uh, you know up to date on it. Uh, you can follow uh, Drinks Over Dearborn on Facebook, yep. also on Twitter, yep. and uh, the website is drinksoverdearborn.com. <laughs> Drinks Over Beardorn would yeah. also be a good site. <laughs> uh, really. yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. Drinksoverdearborn.com and our calendar there is kind of our, our default calendar for all the fun things that we do. Yeah, so keep an keep an eye out on that stuff. Yeah. It seems like they've got a lot of stuff going on here that's uh, really great. And uh, we just want to thank you for joining us, letting us come up and, and talk yeah, for a little while. It was yeah. great. My great pleasure. story. Thanks. All right. My pleasure. Thanks, thank guys. you. Thanks for being here. And thanks for watching. Woo.